so our next one. And this is going to be the last one of our kind of uh, current events here, but I figured it was worth covering, is going to be about J.K. Rowling. So hey, the... uh, do you know how Harry Potter goes down a hill? No. Walking. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Okay, that was a, a good attempt. <laughs> <laughs> An attempt was made. Yes. Anyway, you you kind of like threw me off there. Now I have to recover from that. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry that my joke stymied you quite so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so the world's most known and probably richest writer, J.K. Rowling, has released a new book entitled Ink Black Heart, and it's been causing quite a stir on the social medias and beyond. Apparently, the book is a sixth installment of her thriller series, Cormoran Strike. Who the fuck's <laughs> ever heard of that? Cormoran Strike. Uh, she actually has a surprising like number of other book series that she has done. Uh, people yeah. only care about Harry Potter, though. Yeah. Well, she has penned these books or this series under the name Robert Galbraith. And just as a side note, Robert Galbraith is the same name as the man who created gay conversion therapy. Weird coincidence. <clears throat> just saying. The book, the book centers on the story of Eddie Ledwell, uh, a popular cartoonist who, according to the official description, is persecuted by a mysterious online figure. I feel like this actually happened and ultimately found dead. After her cartoon was criticized for being racist, ableist, and transphobic, <clears throat> at least partly over a bit involving a hermaphrodite worm <laughs> a what? hermaphrodite worm the rolling stone reports i'm i'm just so confused <laughs> hermaphrodite worm i mean all worms are hermaphroditic okay how do how do okay i'm going to end up googling this how do worms anyway the book takes a clear aim oh, at social justice warriors and suggests that Ledwell was a victim of a masterfully plotted, politically fueled hate campaign against her. The magazine continues, adding the character getting doxxed with photos of her home plastered on the internet and faces threats of rape and death because of her opinions. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Critics have decried the book as hilariously self-persecuting and beyond parody, with some drawing attention to the real-world problems facing transgender people. <clears throat> Deriding its length, 500 pages longer than Dune, 300 pages longer than The Infinite Jest, and 100 pages longer than The Bible, wrote one, and calling people to boycott her work. Lark Malachi Gray, co-host of the Queer Harry Potter podcast, The Gaily Prophet, told NPR over email that he finds the situation deeply disturbing or deeply embarrassing for Rowling. She has published disturbing. a disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> she has published a 1000 page self insert fan fiction where she's the victim. It's like the kind of behavior you'd expect from a petulant teenager, not a grown adult with immense wealth and power. He added, I have no idea what she expected, but seeing the internet fill with jokes about the book has been an absolute joy after all the harm she has caused my community over the past several years. So, J.K. Rowling, do you think she's kind of losing it a bit? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. This seems like exactly what that community wanted to happen, anyways. So, exactly. I personally don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like whatever. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like Joan Keller, Jacob. Caleb Rowling or whatever her real name is, uh, blew her proverbial load with the seventh Harry Potter book, to be honest. Yeah. At this point, it's about, I think she's just trying to stay relevant and she's yeah, made her probably. money. She's got over she's, a billion. She, I believe she is a billionaire. Yes. They just, they keep making, there's a new game out based on Harry Potter. I'm sure she's getting a fucking 
No, I'm sure she's getting fitness that. for like, that at least. Like, she, 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 does she? She doesn't even need to write a book anymore. Like, she literally can just sit around and be like, "Yeah, do shit with Harry Potter and pay me for it." Right. Like, yeah, her um, her net worth is estimated in 2022, uh, staggering one billion, according to Celebrity Net Worth. <clears throat> at, at on one hand, I feel like. There's a community that is up in arms that wants to just keep pulling the trigger on her, but at the same time, she keeps putting bullets in the fucking chamber. So yeah. she does. Like she stop shooting me. Put these bullets in that gun. <laughs> stop shooting me. <laughs> yeah, she's just not great, and uh, a lot of the stuff that I've watched about it, especially kind of like a spat that she had with Vosh from YouTube, is. Uh, you know, I, I just, I feel like she just loves to act the victim in general. Um, you know, there's been a, like some uh, backlash for like somebody going over and saying kind of misogynistic statements towards her or whatever. But I just, I, I don't like condone that either, I suppose. But I also kind of feel like she's literally just egging people on to say a nice things to her because of the way that she uh, refers to trans people. And I mean, she made like Probably. a whole entire, like it was like a manifesto and I was disappointed that Richard Dawkins signed it uh, just specifically talking about, uh, you know, the, you know, what a woman is or whatever. And I can't remember what exactly it was, but it was kind of like a, an agreement to stand with women because their identity is under attack or something like that. Just your normal kind of turf crap. But, um, yeah, like it's kind of gone past the point of just having a kind of a little bit of a disagreement. It's like way beyond that when you do like a thousand page thing. And one thing that I uh, saw on another video is like a portion of the book, a significant portion of the book is actually just like in tweet form. So it's like <clears throat> m many multiple pages of just quite literally tweets in the book as like a that's, tweet screen, like not, not as in it's stupid. like in text, it's like in a box and the box has a tweet in it. Just like you would see on, you know, Twitter or whatever on your app. It's uh, kind of weird. Just saying. Just a touch. Just a touch. I mean, it just goes to show you what uh, what the internet does to popular culture nowadays. Yeah. It's <laughs> influenced how people write books. Let's, let's stop talking about her before we have to pay her. 